Unfortunately, I've probably broken something I really ought not have. Is that this? Is this being broken? No. Good. So this polluted water will work its way into the system, then it'll uh, carry on for a while. Now what's this base temperature like? It's not good. It's actively really not good. Well, you're about to stop watching for work. I'm sorry. I like I've just gone through my day and I come home and find you're still streaming. My goodness, man. How do you do it? Um, fear. And discipline. Uh, we could grab a few extra bits and bobs down here if we really wanted to. That does not need to be a priority eight. It can be a priority six and be happy about it. I could mine out a lot of the ice and just transport it over here. It would probably do a fairly decent job of cooling things down, actually. This is doing a decent job of, of cooling things down. Even as is. Oh, what did I just tell to... Oh, I have no idea what I just told to be deconstructed. Not as much sadness. I can at least now, finally, strip a lot of this out. Like a lot. Need to get plastic production up and running again, though. Calling an achievement end. Finely tuned machine. Perform 100 tune ups on the power generators. Oh, nice. There we go. We are actually starting to slowly stockpile petroleum. This room is getting very close to its maximum temperature now. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. What temperature is this coming down at? Uh, the liquid is exiting out. By the time it enters here, it's 95 degrees. Yeah, it's barely gained any heat. By the time it exits here, it's getting quite a lot. It is almost turned into... Uh... Yeah, we, we kind of need to not let that happen. It is gaining way too much heat in this. It's gaining way, way too much heat in there. I was hoping that that would be enough to uh, cool it off a little bit, but no. That is not what's happening. Hmm. That's going to break. Yeah, that will eventually break it. Well, given that then, I feel that I need to keep this room a lot cooler. I need it to be about 70 degrees. This 
70. There we go. We're going to start venting a lot of this, try and get this temperature down in here so that we don't end up breaking the the uh, pipe in here. We need to bring the room, the temperature of this room in general down a bit. That'll help a little. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna vent almost the entire thing first. That is not going to do this room any good. Mind you, now that we've done that, it will get a bit better. As a general rule, it will get better, but... We really need that to finish emptying. And pop! Now we should see fresh coolant entering the loop. That is getting dangerously high. Oh, of course, yeah, it needs to get down a lot more before then. Oh, poop. Gonna have to cycle the entire temperature down. These will at least shut off when they hit 100 degrees, thankfully, but still may break this. Marcy Karina, hello! Thank you very much for the 20 months. Yep, it's gotta drop below 50 degrees for it to enter this loop. Oh, well, actually, no, no, because it just needs to be low enough that after going through two aqua tuners, it'll be uh, a low enough temperature. There we go. This will start helping. Hopefully. Oh, the polluted water there is starting to drop. We'll see. Oh, wow. Look at the temperature. It entered at 45. It's already at 82. Already at 96. Yikes. Well, now it's going to hold in the system. Mm. Yeah. I'm thinking I need to rethink my, uh, my cooling loop idea. Hello, Maton. How are you doing, mate? Uh, you've missed a good couple of hours, yeah. Yeah, you, you you may you may or may not have missed ten hours and a half. Yeah, this is gonna fill up with this lovely cool petroleum, and then it's gonna just allow stupid hot petroleum in. Gonna be a bit crazy. On the plus side, it is actually only bringing up the average of the petroleum temperature. What's the temperature down there? It's getting a little bit better, ever so slightly. It's temperature in here. And it's going over the 200 mark now. That being said, now that we actually have this system in place, we don't need to... Now that it can't exit the loop, unless it should exit the loop, we don't need to give flow priority. We can allow this to keep moving, so... With that in mind, we're going to deconstruct that as a very high priority. And then, as a also very high priority, 
Can I draw that across? Go, go, go. But yeah, we've actually got almost a, uh, a uh, heart attack of petroleum there. This is telling me that we could afford to have a fourth generator in here. Just hooked up. Ready to roll whenever. Uh, we'll pop that down to a priority 7 build. And it should function exactly the same as the others. But at this point, mm, the fourth one won't run at all times. Oh, well, actually, no, no, it will. It, yeah, we would be able to run five generators off a full packet of petroleum. We have completely broken the power. <laughs> well. Oops. To be honest, though, we don't really need it for those doors. <coughs> it's completely unnecessary for those doors, realistically. So I'm not actually unhappy about that. May as well just remove it. Those doors can just be unpowered, or I can replace them with manual airlocks. They function as manual airlocks, as is. Hello. Oh, thank you, she lab. Do you have a nice sleep? Mm. Good. Right. I really want that done. I'm not like I. I don't know if I like this whole uh, proximity-based priority system. Uh, I kind of feel like it's not that good, especially for the the way that I'm gotten used to playing the game. Let's have a look at this. That should work correctly now. be able to filter through. It's almost down to the correct temperature and it can start being let in. There we go. Now that should start averaging out. The uh, Well, problem is one packet gets in, one packet leaves the other side. It'll take a little bit for that to, to properly set up. But There we go. Now it's got over... Well, actually, I would have imagined it would need to be over 10 kilos for it to average. But... It's good enough. Now, what's the temperature in here? Really bloody high. So, we need to take care of that. Because this is outputting at 326 degrees. This can handle up to 275, but uh, yeah. We don't want to let that go for too long. I want to break that off there, and across, and down, and all the way across, and all the way across there as well. This will give us a coolant to some degree. It's not exactly going to be great, but it'll do its job. And then we just need to break this down. Let's get that done quickly because that is actually starting to gather in uh, heat rather intensely. Okay, well now that this is running, it seems to be running itself reasonably well. Although I definitely feel that uh, I need to drastically improve my idea uh, with regards to coolant. It's not awful. Can I get rid of that? Yes, I can. Then I would very much like to. Right, cool steam vent. Uh, I, I mean, it's just going to add more heat. Uh, more heat that I can't afford, really. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn off proximity and let them get back to doing work the way they were before. Holy crap, you're still going! That's some legendary stamina. Bless. Right. Temperature's starting to drop now in here because we're not um, we're not doing things, I guess. That being said, we are basically constantly cooling. Right now, we're not really letting anything into the loop. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure on this. The averaging that's going on is a bit frustrating, but we'll see. What's the temperature like in here? Uh, well, it's kind of trying to get better. We're keeping things below 100, I guess. And there is that. A small victory will have to be enough for now. Tolona Salome, good evening, Avec. Corn for the cornflakes. But it's uh, atomic blue shell. I went to sleep with the stream on and woke with the stream still going. Indeed. It is coming up to hour 10.43. That, that is not 1043. It, it is at the 10th hour and the 43rd minute. I think with this particular setup, we are actually going to need extra, extra cooling. It's gonna it's gonna be a necessity. Could we fit one in there? Uh yeah, we should be able to actually. We stop. Five cooling banks should be enough to chill anything. <laughs> anything down. I mean, at that point. We would be able to pull something down by what? Um, 70 degrees? We'd be able to take something from 70 degrees down to zero. I think I'm on board with this. That's a hell of a, an outlay of power, though, to run all of that. Let's, let's not go full ball. Modicum of restraint. I feel is uh, is called upon here. Just a little bit. Just enough. There we go. And this can just go whoop. Just down there. Now, this is going to break the cooler for a moment, but it'll be well worth it when all of this is done. Uh, actually, let's get all of that done first before we break the cooler. Once everything else is in place, we can hook it up and then we're good. We're golden. It would be better if we had more petroleum in the network. I'll be honest. Be a lot better. This is getting better now. But I, again, I think this needs to have its own separate um its own separate loop. I feel that would be the best way for that one to function. Right, that should start entering the system. It's gonna get down one side. So it's entering at 49 degrees. It's already 66. 70 odd 80 ish it'll probably be something similar by the time it gets up towards the top so we really need to see it when it's getting out of here so around here was good good indicator so about 90 degrees so it's gained 50 degrees moving through that system damage overheat yeah yeah That's fair. 
the temperature in here. And actually, the temperature is starting to get a bit better. Gradually, but it is getting better. We're fighting a war. Problem is... I'll take some copper. Um... Oh, wow, look at that backup we're getting there. That's actually pretty cool. The problem I have is, where is everyone and what are they doing? I've tried turning off uh, the uh, proximity um, priority system just to see if that would improve things, but it really doesn't feel like it is. Temperature's dropped a good way now. Actually, starting to get a bit better for us, ultimately. Uh, and 60 degrees. I mean, there's so much petroleum in there that it's able to balance out its temperature very ag aggressively. Oh, wait, why is that jammed? Oh. It's not good when that happens. This... I need a system where the outer ring never stops. It's always in motion. That's ultimately what I need. like a highway with on and off ramps the highway never slows down it's the on and off ramps that, that slow got to try and think of it a little bit more like uh, like the logistics of a road I feel anyway it's below 70 then I want it active copy settings across all of this Oh, above 70, rather. My bad. Right, I gotta get this. Ooh, now this is this. Ooh, this is a bit of a tricky one. Yeah, cancel that deconstruct. I'm going to need to do a bit of an operation here, where I'm gonna bypass this. And hopefully, in the time it takes me. To get that sorted. In fact, quickly, very quickly, deconstruct that. Because if I can get this all set up, then this tile should effectively be empty for a while. But I need this to happen now. Come along. They stop on in US highway? What? You're never meant to stop on a motorway. <laughs> That's the whole point. It's a free flow of traffic. The on ramps, when 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 lanes are merging, they slow, but the uh, the objective is not to stop. So it's like the the whole roundabout. The roundabout should never stop. People merging onto the roundabout have to stop until there's an opening and then they can move on to it. But they shouldn't ever, like, the flow of traffic on the roundabout should never slow. Ideally. I mean, obviously, there, there, will, there will always be exceptions to those sorts of things, but... Now, someone comes along and builds this. And that would be ideal. Some granite on its way. There you go. That should have been. That shouldn't have been granite. That should have been igneous rock. It was igneous rock. Why did they deliver granite? What? Shenanigans. 78. Let's come to that 78 there. There we go. Right, now I need this broken now. Thank you. 
And now that that's done, this can be brought across. Once again, right now. And the system should start working properly. Right, this one... Well, actually, basically, I want... If this is above 20, it should be being cooled. Copy settings all the way across. Soon as that's done, we should have all four of these happily drawing charge and cooling down our coolant. We should be able to reduce it from fairly high temperature to a fairly low one pretty quickly. Dunk. There we go. So, entering at 84 degrees, exiting at 28 degrees. That's what I wanted to see. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Are they building more piping over here? Oh, they're probably decommissioning it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. It'll take them a little bit of time, but that's fine. All right, we're seeing 28 degree coolant entering the system. 74 degrees already. <laughs> oh my lord. This room is actually really hot, though. To be fair. So, from 20 degrees to 90 degrees. In the span of one round on this system. Now, that's going to average out. Uh, well, no, again, it won't because it's getting a full packet every time. Like, the system is never building up a backlog in order to average it. If I slightly adjusted the flow, it, it would, but... Yeah, that, that's another thing to bear in mind. I could adjust the flow of the uh, coolant out of the system. That, in turn, would help out quite a lot, actually. What's it doing down here? Still 90 degrees there. Uh, start. Oh, it's actually pulled it down below 90 degrees in here now. Excellent. Really good to see. We're starting to see very low numbers, well, occasional low, low numbers now. Okay, I have no idea which pipe you're breaking down now. What on earth is going on? A decent amount of petroleum moving up to the main stockpile. Uh, we have no backlogged petroleum anymore, but that doesn't surprise me. We're now running four aqua tuners to cool things off. Entering at 89 degrees, leaving at 32 degrees. And it's basically going straight into the system. And it'll be exiting the system as well. I'm, I'm, I'm at, oh, actually... Yeah, it'll be exiting the system, but it's getting closer and closer to the point where it'll be able to do a second round before exiting. So, yeah, we're getting there. Very slowly, but it is happening. Right. Have a quick look in here. Yeah. I mean, it's managing, but it's not good. We haven't really done much down there for a while. Let's go up and check on the steam system. Yeah, we, we're just not getting anything done. I'm starting to feel that they can't get down there. Can you get down here? Yes. So why aren't you down? Hmm. How about... This is all priority 9. This should be being built. Oh. Oh! Oh, well, what does never cease? There we go. Getting some work done. Glorious. 
Very well. Uh, I am going to go for extra carrying capacity, and then we're going to go through building. For now, though, uh, let's make sure that your priorities are correctly set. I'm going to say that supplying is now a, a high priority for you. Actually, I'm going to give you a little bump up in there. There you go. Enjoy. Uh, we can replace this now. If we can get this up and running before... Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that we probably already missed the boat there. We've only got 13.2 cycles left. Well, we've got a, a bit of stockpiled power, but... We might be able to carry a little bit further than we have in previous uh, times, especially now that we're tuning up our petroleum generators. We need to add the coal generators, really, and, and tune those up as well um, for the same sort of uh, return. But we'll see. What's the temperature at now? Uh, fluctuating. In here, 91 degrees still. Let's have a look at the, the temperature. 31 Exiting at 82. My goodness. What's the temperature in here like? It's actually still dropping. But that just goes to show, waiting for that to get up to 190, we're getting an awful lot of use out of this now. Oh, some of the problems is getting, getting down there, not too bad. But yeah, it's not averaging out because the, these are not having an opportunity to stockpile um, the petroleum so that they can curve. I need to think of a new design. Much like the airlock, I, I think... Well, unlike the airlock, I, I, I think the airlock was uh, a nice idea. But within the mechanics of the game, didn't work. Um, however, I think the, the cooling loop idea, I'm not ready to sign off on that yet, but I definitely need to have a rethink of how I'm setting that up. How I'm having the, the loops interact. Again, coming back to the whole, I kind of want an on-off ramp sort of, sort of thing going on. Uh, I think that would be, be particularly important. And I think in some degree... it will come down to controlling the flow rate so that we're dealing with non-full packets of, of liquid. So some of the heat can move. Even if not a full 10 kilos, but some of it can move around. I think that'll actually be really important. What's the temperature of the liquids here? Thanks. That is very hot water going in there. Little wonder it's coming out rather, rather hot. What's our food like? Our food's actually going up. It's not too bad. Barbecue's going up as well. Omelets are going up. Okay, so overall, things are generally doing okay. The steam room is cooling gradually. This room is cooling very gradually. This one is is being controlled. We are actually cooling the uh, the room in here. It's slow, but we are actually making progress. I, I, I suspect that over time we'll win that battle. It's a war of attrition and we're winning it. But we do need to, to get the, the loops better. And I'm, I'm just... Uh, I, I was thinking to myself, oh yeah, I'm going to build, build off to the side. It's going to be great. I'm going to have so much room, but uh, no. No, that isn't how it panned out. This is just a mess. But it's my mess, damn it. Okay, well, we've got a volcano down there. We've got a cool steam vent down there. We've got plenty of water. And if I need to, I can just start mining ice. We've got frozen coal. We'll never run out of ice. Um, well, that's a big, big word, never. But, uh, yeah, progress up here is basically stalled. And... I'm not really sure why. And it is a little bit frustrating. 
they, they're getting one or two things built every now and then. Every blue moon, they'll get a little bit of something done. Um, but I think we're going to probably wrap up the stream there. I've been going for quite some time now. Oh, Aziz, I'm sorry. Ooh, hi to you as well. I'm sorry, mate. We are wrapping things up, though. Uh, let's have a look. Eleven hours. Yeah, yeah. It's it's coming up towards the eleven hour mark. Yeah, yeah. Right, eleven hours and two minutes. And I think that's probably as good a place to wrap up this stream. As any. I am really liking the idea of this. But this has become a mess. I mean, it's functional. It's a functional mess, which is nice. But um, However, one thing we're not doing is we've got a lot of water down here. And we're not cooling it. So once again, it's come down to the whole... Um, we're not factoring this in properly. Um... I need these to basically be running a lot more. So, if it's above 100, I guess. We'll uh, try and bring it down to at least create uh, a better steam pressure in this room. But yeah, once once the, uh, the temperature of the steam overall had dropped enough, that was a bit of a problem. But there we go. We're, all, we're already pushing the uh, temperature of this water up a bit for us. Which is uh, doing a doing a bit of help, but uh, yeah, at the moment this is uh, on and off. I even think that I can hear the occasional as things run out of power, which I, I dislike. I think this was a very good idea. This honestly has has probably saved lives of our dupes so far. Having that little uh, backup generator that is one thing I feel that yeah we we. Came up with a solution to a problem, and it actually worked, it, and it worked well. Uh, so I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that one. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we, st I think there's still some, um, still a bit of uh, ironing out to do with the with the cooling system, and, and part of it is going to be coming down to finding a nice, compact, easily replicatable kind of modular design for the in out uh, for the off ramp of the uh, of the main cooling loop highway thanks for a wonderful stream I hope you get some rest and some good norms oh thank you I hope I do as well actually yes I wouldn't mind some rest or some nice norms though probably not at the same time <laughs> <laughs>